Hi, so for today, we're going to talk about geometric progression calculator techniques. Last time, we have talked about uh, uh, arithmetic progression, but right now, we're going to talk about geometric progression. So let's get started. So for the geometric progression, we will still be needing the mode uh, stat, okay, here in our screen, mode stat, and we're going to choose the A multiplied by b raised to x that's for the geometric progression okay so let's click that so find the 15th term of the geometric progression 3 6 12 okay Three, six, twelve, uh, 24 and uh, so on and so forth okay so we are tasked to find the uh, 15th term so in order for do that for us to do that we need to have a, at least two inputs. So for the first term, we have for the x and for the y, we have three. Okay, remember that in the calculator, the x is the number of terms, okay, and the value of the first term would be uh, on the y column. So the first term would be the uh, three, and then we have the second term, that would be uh, six, okay? So again, click AC to just uh, st uh, start it, okay, to store the value. So we, we now go to shift, stat, then five, reg, okay, click the five. And then we are asked to find for the value of the 15th term. So we'll be having 15, uh, excuse me, <laughs> okay, so 15th. Uh, shift stat okay reg and then the what's the 15th term okay what is the value of the 15th term so we need to click y here y hat so upon equal sign we have 49152 so whenever we try to find the value of the uh the number of term for example 20th term you just simply uh, change this into 20th so you'll get, be getting the 20th term or the value of the 20th term. So, for example, the 8th uh, term. What's the value for the 8th term? So, here. Here it is. So, that's how simple it is. No? So, we have 15. Therefore, we have 49,152. And we have letter B as our answer. Okay? So, for number 2, if the first term of a geometric sequence is 4 and its 5th term is 324, what is the common ratio? So this is a type of problem where the common ratio for the geometric sequence is being asked. Okay, so the process is still the same. We have to go to shift stat. Okay, and the type we have still the A multiplied by B raised to X. So we have number six for that. So we are given, okay, uh, first term as four. So we have first term as four. And the fifth term is 324. So we need to have that given. Okay. Fifth term is 324. Okay. So storing this in our calculator by uh, clicking AC. So we have shift stat again. And then we go to, uh, again, we go to the reg. Okay. So we go to the reg number five. And we are going to click B here. Okay. Two. And that denotes the common ratio. Okay? So, upon clicking this, equal sign, we have now the common ratio. Again, the common ratio can be found if we have two given sequence. Okay? If in this sequence, we have uh, at least two given values for uh, a certain position in the sequence. So, in this case, that's the first term is 4 and the fifth term is 324. So, we have the common ratio as 3. Okay, and that's the answer for problem number two. For problem number three, find the sum of the first 15 terms of the geometric progression 3, 6, 12, 24, and up to the 15th term. So here in this problem, we are asked to find the, uh, the sum of the first 15th. So again, what we're going to do, we're going to the stat, we're going to again type datas. So the first term would be 3, okay, and the second term would be 6, 
Okay? So, no need for us to write all the necessary given as long as we uh, write the first two, it's okay. So, first term is 3, second term is 6. Okay? So, AC, and then we have to get the summation. Shift, summation. Okay? So, in order for us to do that, we have to get the summation of the all of the y, okay, or the value of y, okay, from first to 15. So hence, I'm going to have x here denoting what, uh, denoting that I'll be inputting a certain number of the terms, and that is 1 to 15. And then, we are going to, again, get the value of the y, which is we're going to get the sum of those y term ranging from 1 to 15. So how do we do that? Shift, comma, 1, okay, comma, to 15. Okay, so summation of 1 to 15. So again, I write this x because I'm commanding the calculator that I'll be inputting a range from 1 to 15 of the x because we, have, we are tasked to find the first sum first 15 terms of this and i put y here okay because we are tasked to find the sum of the first 15 terms okay so and of course the summation so upon entering we have 98301 okay but the first 15 progression so if 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 the problem goes like only from 6 to 10, so you can change this, the sum of from 6 to 10 term, okay, that will be the result. But if you are asked to find for the 1 to 20th term, okay, you can still adjust this. And then you have the answer, okay? But in this case, we are asked to find the first to 15, first 15 terms. In that case, that is 98,301. And for the last problem, so we have... Find the sum of the four geometric means between 5 and 15,625. The first term is 5 and the sixth term is 15,625. So we are asked here to find the sum of the four, uh, four geometric means between 5 and 15,625. So the first term is 5, the sixth term is 15,625. So what we are asked is to find the sum of the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth only okay so i'm going to again create a uh, uh, initial given for that for the values so i have the first term as five okay and the value of that which should be five okay and the sixth term is fifteen thousand six hundred twenty five okay so we have first and the sixth term okay for this problem so how do you find the sum of the four geometric mean in between this fifth and six uh the, between the five and the fifteen thousand so right ac and then we have summation okay the sum of the four geometric means between the first and the six so i have still x okay and then stat then reg and then of course the y hat again and then comma so this time this time it is i'm asked to find for the second third fourth and fifth okay that's the four geometric means so not including the first and not including the sixth so i'm going to ha have two to five two three four five okay comma to five okay so that's how we are going to answer this. Okay, upon entering this, we are ha we will be having 3,900. Okay, so that's the, the sum of the four geometric means between 5 and 15,625. Okay, so that's the end of our discussion. I hope you learned something. And if you learned something, please don't forget to subscribe. And again, this is Injir Abad. See you again on the next problem. Thank you.